Hi. So without wasting time, let's discuss what chappity can be used for. Okay. So this is a theory session so that you could understand the prompt well. What Chat GPT can do? What is the Chat GPT capabilities, and how you can get most out of it? Okay. So this is a theory session for your better understanding. Okay. And even we will do one practical. Okay. And the other part of the series will be total practical. Okay. So now let me write Chat GPT. It is a note part. You can download the notes from the description. I'll share the link in the description. Okay. So Chat GPT can be used for. Uh, let me create. Uh, okay. First, for understanding the text, whatever text you will give in the input box in the prompt uh, text box, it will process it. Okay. Secondly, you can easily create the contents. Okay. Even you can you can. debug the quotes these all are the general thing what most of the people know okay fourth thing is education you can get uh, a total encyclopedia about education in every field in every subject okay whatever you will ask as per the uh, relation of uh, education it will share you the details okay fifth is the research part you can get all of the research paper any suggestion from ai or any extra cca activities if you want to add on in your research project okay sixth one is uh, translation also you can do uh, the language input and output okay you can treat chat gpt as a virtual assistant also virtual assistant also okay and there are much more these all are the basic thing everybody know but there are more thing what you can do with the chat gpt what we will discuss here first you should understand when you write the code here in this text box send message text box so this process of giving chat gpt input is actually known as prompt writing or prompt engineering okay let me write a definition here the process of giving the input to chat gpt is known as prompt writing or prompt engineering okay this answer and question is much important because if you will apply for a job of chat gpt prompt writer or prompt engineer then this is the first question they will ask you what is the meaning of prompt writing or prompt engineering just define so you should define it in a simple word okay so now let me tell you what are the basic general rules related to prompt writing okay if you will write something very simple then it will uh, turn you in a simple format i'll tell you by an example first let me complete the theory part okay first prompt provides a writing or a starting point or a starting direction for chat gpt okay and the response actually follows the same tone the same context and the same style as you will give so here now i will tell you some general basic rules for writing prompt for chat gpt 3.5 and for 4 version okay first you should always start with simple writing try to start with a simple prompt and try to build more on it okay secondly is call to action what is the meaning of call to action here look you should always 
start the second part with a action word action word like like right okay or you can say create create this is the action word summarize this is the action word okay and 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 but don't use can you most of the people what i have seen they are using can you can you write this can you do this okay so don't use can you this is not the good practice for chat gpt okay thirdly try to add the context very clearly what is the meaning of context here look if you will add a specific and relevant context a, a a word a text a instruction to task what you want to perform then you will get the good output from the chat gpt okay so try to add try to oh, sorry for my spelling to add sorry add a specific and relevant content or text okay fourth one is add expectations so what is the meaning of expectation here look you should always add a clear and direct expectation for the content like how long it should be or what to include it should be 400 words it should be five sentence it should be 10 sentence it will be worth one page two page means clear instruction for uh, the expectation part okay that you should always give this is the best practice like how long it should be okay so let me tell you now some practical part and we will implement all these prompt writing general rules in one our input okay just suppose here i am writing create a list of um, fun toys okay this is a simple a uh, cr sorry e if i'll enter this then you can see now it has given me a lot of list understood it's very lengthy right now it's very lengthy okay sure here is a list of fun toys lego set this one this one this one board game puzzles remote control cars play doh stuffed animals many max more things are there right but look last what he has written remember this is just a simple list and there are more toys available to suits various interest and preferences i don't know whether they all are of my interest or not they all are very helpful to me or not or this what i want as an answer i don't know because i didn't given anything specific i just given a simple statement create a list of fun toys that's it nothing is specific right so now this is a bad practice of chat gpt instead of this what you should write let me tell you we will follow these general rules okay and then you will get the most of it here now we will write instead of that example we will write create a list of 10 fun games 10 is specific 10 fun and inexpensive this is specific toy gift okay two again i will do some specific job programmers okay and even let me give more specific keyword like criteria we will give some criteria also how it should be what it should be okay programmers let's say based on um the below criteria 
understood criteria this is the spelling first criteria would be it should be useful this is the first cut s h o this should be useful and add full stop focus on the grammar also okay the second thing is it should be silly this is also specific okay and the third would be uh, what can we give we can give creativity so it uh, should spark creativity okay so here what i have given as a prompt i have given a specific requirement a specific number 10 fun and inexpensive gift to to whom to programmers based on the below criteria the criteria i have given first it should be useful second it should be silly and third it should spark creativity this all are the specific prompt right if i'll enter this now it is of my interest okay it has given a lot of things but it is of our interest because everything is specific for programmers for programmers first gift would be programmable led badge a small led badge that programmer can program to display it is useful right it is useful it is silly but it is useful it is both useful for showing off their programming skill and silly with its flat design right understood second is rubik cube for programming algorithms so what i am telling you keyboards code poetry book hello world coffee mug okay programming shops everything circuit board coasters magnetic poetry kit so what is the meaning of this whatever you will give whatever you will input to the prompt it should always follows these general rules start with simple i have started with simple create a list okay then call to action write summarize specific contest you should add specific understand so always remember it while typing it in the prompt understood so this is the writing section of how to write this hope you understood okay if you have any confusion then just drop a comment i'll give answer as soon as possible okay so hope you like the video let's move to the next section okay till then bye bye